Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, the garrison of Martinique is trying to sally and destroy our invasion force. However, they are very, very, very much counting on this army coming in to save them, which it will not because it's lots of depleted cavalry units. Anyway, let's get in, dig in, and get ready to slaughter them. So I'm going to set up a fairly rudimentary defensive line, forward, but the bulk of my troops I want to hold back, ready to see where the reinforcements come in. They should, in theory, come in from the left. However, Empire likes to uh, throw you some curveballs every now and then. Including, sometimes, for no real reason, just charging in from behind. Even though they shouldn't be at all on the campaign map. But whatever. These things spice it up. I do love fighting these American maps. They are very refreshingly flat. <laughs> okay, so let's keep one gun team back. Deploy a militia unit here. Frontiersmen. They will get in the farmhouse, so I'll group those together as my right flank. I'll leave them, leave a pack of unit of grenadiers behind to provide support. Gonna line up two units of infantry on the left hand side of this gun team. Deploy the howitzers as is. Got three units of infantry, plus a unit of grenadiers, plus my cavalry as a bit of a reserve, although my cavalry just pre-position around the flanks in general. Directly to my left. Not unreasonable. Form ranks. This 12 pounder unit to push over. My grenadiers can stay here. Intercept the general's bodyguard because they're running. Big mistake, buddy. Field artillery is destroyed. Kill the enemy general. Fire will off. Okay, we do have time to be a bit more intelligent with our layout. Cavalry's on the march. Pull my cavalry out of the way. Fifth with canister shot. Close. Good hit. New men form square. New men form square because you're going to get hit by the dragoons. Push my colonial light up the right flank. Let's commit my general. Keep my cavalry safe for now. Send in my general and the 26th. 
limber up my guns. Keep my howitzers lobbing in shells. Keep my guns moving. These gunners can unlimber, fire it well off. Come on, slaughter the militia. Frontiersmen, you have to abandon the house, otherwise you're gonna die. gonna die one more shot and they're done for part of the reason why I'm not a huge fan of buildings you forget about them it's very bad commit the cl my colonial lights in against General's bodyguard that's isolated and unprotected. Although, frankly, this entire wing is out of action. 64 frontiersmen originally in that block. Well, when I was trying to make them escape, there were 64. So 56 isn't bad. You men advance against the militia. Bring out my grenadiers. bring in reinforcements so probably want to do okay let's advance and take the ground excellent Howard says both focus on the seventh Engage some of the infantry at range. Only one gun. It's going to shoot high. Kill the enemy general. Let's try and bring my depleted cavalry back. One more unit over to the main action. My militia are going to keep pushing against the enemy militia. See if the howitzers can redirect their fire to the left. Bowman auxiliary are taking an absolute hammering. Advance. Excellent. Oh, it's his bombard. Expected the militia to come back. Keep the frontiersmen with them just to keep packing away. How oh, it's a shots inbound? Oh, if you kept running, you'd have been screwed. March back within range.
wavering. Are they going to get a volley off? Will they break again? Nope. You men, bayonet charge the first regiment. You men charge forward and bayonet the guns. You men just push forward to the edge. The militia is sticking around. To keep maneuvering around the flanks. Some of the shots are missing, they're taking out the windows of the farmhouse. Let's kill whatever curry you can get. Probably aren't going to pursue everyone. We've done a lot of damage. We don't need to slaughter them all. They'll, they'll receive a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. They lost two thirds of their number. And we outnumber them significantly. There's some raiders. So we need to push on our next targets intelligently, recruit additional troops as required. Prussia is going to be a really interesting one to try and dismantle. I think we're going to end up. We're probably going to end up just in, in enforcing a complete blockade on the entire coast and then focus our attacks somewhere else to try and gain a bridgehead to expand towards Prussia. Italy's usually quite good for that. Um, if Sweden decides to go, come after us, we can go after Sweden. And once we've secured France. Our next logical target is potentially the some of the northern territories, including Britain. Uh, no. I don't want an alliance with you, Russia. No, sir. I am content that my British-Prussian alliance will hold off the Spanish attack. Oh, are they going to take... Petroskaya, they are. Whoa, watch out, Russia. Sweden's coming to get you. They may actually be able to do quite well. They've got the Ottomans have taken Astrakhan, Prussia and Austria. Ooh, Prussia and Spain are no longer allies. What I mean is, so they've taken, they've lost Vilnius, they've lost St. Petersburg, they've now lost Petrovskaya. Finland is looking isolated. I oh, know the, uh, the Ottomans took Tarki. I thought they took Astrakhan based on the map. I suppose not. New city. Huge new city. This is in our capital. So we're going to build a school and we're going to dismantle the water power cloth mill because it's the only. Well, actually. The imagine a factory will produce 1750 wealth per turn plus 12 per turn to wealth growth. So you'll produce less money overall, but you'll grow. Your hour per turn town wealth in the long term. Steam power cloth mill. Prosperous. You're both prosperous. I think it's kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. Get rid of the cloth mill. I like I'm I'm more naturally a fan of Iron Master. The Iron Master's works and the whole metal industry. New port emerges at Hispaniola. Build a trading port. Let's use one of the sloops we secured. Hold it. Okay, so. Trade regions. Ivory Coast looks quite blocked up. Straits of Madagascar maybe might have a slot. Let's go to Brazil. Let's stay close. So I may send a fraction of you. Let's go to South America. Let's 
crew and admiral. And then let's get some extra ships. 28,000. I might. So this is my anti raider force being recruited. So we've got native melee infantry. Get them from Albany. Ooh. If I upgrade to the next level, I, I lose the ability to recruit native melee infantry. So let's cancel building that until we get all of our native warrior auxiliary units that we can. Um, native bowmen isn't so bad because we can still recruit them Yeah, later on. Let's upgrade our commercial port, upgrade the boarding house. Let's combine you with these units. Just mob that French raiding unit. Yeah, one unit of, merc of, mer of mercenaries. Annihilated. So we're building an interesting force down here. St. Augustine. Let's get an artillery officer to lead this force. Hernando Martinez. Martinez. Ma yes, that guy. So let's get some extra infantry. Sebastian Serrano. There's no one protecting New Orleans, so we're just going to demand the surrender. We don't... Again, we don't want this to be a... Well, maybe we do. If we make this a military building, we may want to dismantle this one in Florida. It makes sense to have a military building on the front lines with a potential future adversary. We do have an enemy force out in the region. We can leave the territory, so I think we are going to pursue and attack Napoleon Douai. You can get to Upper Louisiana. So. You're not going to demand the surrender, but that's effectively an auto-resolve. There's no force there capable of stopping us. Because you've taken out this raiding force, you can lay siege to Teleco. Don't attack it, just lay siege to it. We need to replenish, and if they come after us, we'll be a bit more. We'll be better off in a defensive battle than we would an offensive battle. Get some upgrading done in Michigan. Chiefly focus on the roads first. Don't do the ports yet. It's got five thousand. Let's push on Napoleon Douai. Push them north. Squash them between our forces in the in the upper and lower Louisiana areas. Swing east. We'll send one east to support the attack against the former Cherokee territories, one west to take Santa Fe. Although I am not opposed to New Mexico having it. I may actually no, I maybe once I take these areas I might just declare peace okay guns up on the hill all my infantry all my depleted infantry let's form a separate brigade for them the bulk of my forces are in good shape oh it's these rocks here are impacting my de my deployment it's impacting my development nope that's not a problem uh, it's always been terrible. Alright. You guys. Portal Terrier will probably move up to about here. My depleted brigade will push the left under support from the guns. So all of our artillery is focusing on their one howitzer. Let's probably get my howitzer to hit some slightly different targets. Get my cavalry up the flank. 
Charging swords raised. Surprise! Just direct one of my cavalry teams to swing in and help. My weak brigades, you've been promoted to my assault force. The king. See, it doesn't necessarily do anything. Sometimes it feels like it. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me feel better, I guess. The human format. The light cavalry's been knocked out. Horse, artillery, and limber. Get my foot artillery to attack these units that are slightly more ventral. Yeah, these are the native, these are the African American infantry mercenaries. The frontiersmen didn't really get a look in. They may well attract cavalry charge if these guys come back. Force artillery. Heck. General, pursue that native auxiliary unit. Actually, 99 Colonial Dragoons are enough to deal with them. Retarget the guns, attack the 14th, attack the 6th. You guys are okay. Let's push up our strong formations. Push, 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 push. If you could just break the light cavalry, maybe shatter them. The pop, the pop gun was enough to upset them. Chat to them, but go for the infantry. Okay, artillery, cease fire. I believe the enemy is in complete route. In a complete route. Good, 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 good. Okay, so you're, you're the, f the first unit that's able to really kill the one they're trying to pursue. Bring you more central. You're probably going to fail to kill the 14th because they're so spread out. Same with you and the native warriors. Okay, this might speed things up a bit here. Again, more cavalry seems to make the pathfinding better when you're hunting units that are spread out. Kill the enemy general. Yo, they really are spread out. They're 100% going to escape. We can't cover all this distance at once. They're just going to run. Yeah, they're going to avoid them. Run all the way over there. Let's keep one unit back here and experiment. Oh, doesn't matter. Decisive victory it is. Nice. Back you devils go. Sebastian, replenish. I'd like to fortify New Orleans. Is this going to be a frontier town for Mexico? I'm not going to upgrade any of this because that's just asking to get raided 
Upper Louisiana can get better roads. So can Lower Louisiana. You can repair your port. And we can recruit a sloop to garrison Port Louis de la Mobile. Nice, nice, nice. Two more heavy ships add to our battle fleet. Two thousand six hundred. We can recruit first rates, but I don't have the money. Let's build a third rate. Or actually, let's build. See, it's kind of annoying as new as Grand Columbia. I can't recruit galleons, or can I? Is it right at the end? Yes, there it is, galleon. Boom. <laughs> yeah, if you can't get to it from this way. Because you never get the sloop counter to disappear. You have to go. Aha! <laughs> Unfortunate, but there we go. Or recruit them in trade ports where you've got less competition for slots. 600 gold. We're about to get naval architecture advances. Which is alright. Yeah, the port's been done. Let's hit and turn. Oh. Uh. Auto resolve Martinique. I don't think they'll be able to come and attack us with our ship in the port. See, that's another good offer from Spain because Trinidad is not a super valuable region. Long watch, long shoe watch, diamond formation, puddling furnace. Good offers, but I'm not interested. This is really a burst because usually I get bombarded with terrible, terrible, terrible deals, but this is actually one. One time where we get really good deals. Yeah, here we go. They're coming in to attack us. So we've got to repel their forces. Dig in. Hold the ground. Let's do it. This will be the last of their strength. And to be honest, I will probably try and seek peace with France after this battle. I'm not interested in Santa Fe to the West just yet. I am more interested in consolidating my forces and maybe heading north. That's what's more enticing to me. Very undulating ground, not ideal. So let's put my weaker troop much eh. the high ground is good but none of it's really ideal we deploy back i feel the fire isn't terrible but our backs are up against the town there's no real advantage to taking this feature because we may just end up putting out be putting ourselves in another different position let's on the flat ground, flat ish ground. Deploy my guns to maximize their firepower. An infantry unit and a militia unit on each flank. Some measure of Reserves plus cavalry. Ha. So let's somewhat hunker down. I guess you still need to go there. Should have been on round shot, really. Canister shot will immediately switch to canister shot to go for the 
native warrior auxiliary coming in. Let's take colonial unit around the flank. Hold them off. We've pushed back one enemy. Bomb square. Get my general back. You men commit into engaging the cavalry. Just around shot, engage the line infantry. Let's pull this line back, because then we can draw the enemy into canister range from our guns. Yeah, my gunners are upset, but that's not a problem. Native warriors are not going to be ideal here. Colonial militia's upset. Right. Pull, pull back. Form a... New front line. Yeah, I'm going to cause a bit of a bit of a uh, cascade here. You men just keep holding squares for as long as you can. And it's shot the sixth. Engage the 38th. successfully defend against this. You men pull back. They are going to be able... Yeah, they're going to break this force. We just haven't been able to put the firepower down fast enough. Commit my general, unless we break this this blob then roll on again to that blob and then so on and so on and so on the tribe auxiliary are holding out for as long as they can bring my native troops in they are going to successfully mob us. But we will fight. New man is squabbling against a bunch of infantry, which is not ideal. Roll on into the light horse. Roll on into that blob. Back into the fight you come, you fellows. The day is not yet done. Same with you. Get in, get back. You men, push up. You men smash into the back of this. Engage the colonial infantry at point blank range. Get you guys over here. We need to try and surround this blob. 
and annihilate them. You need to format, hold off the reinforcements as they come in. When my general falls, he is going to be in trouble. Smash in. Conscript militia form up. The cavalry. If you can, if you can escape. Blast the colonial line. Slaughter them. Okay, you push up right on the edge of the flank. So you men are going to avoid this engagement entirely. Straight through the middle. Excellent. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Format, format, format. Not very much is the answer to that. Excellent. You men limber up. General's bodyguard try and chase down as many units as they can so that they are shattered. So many dead. Oh god, that Colonial Dragoon unit alone was smashed. Effectively everybody. the line you gotta rely on massed musketry to protect us fall upon them like animals like monsters Rip them from their saddles, show them no mercy. Withdraw, withdraw. New men jump onto them. I think we're still done for. We can't deal with. We recovered from the initial blow, but I think the damage done is too severe. Retreat! Let's get out of here. With no cavalry, they can't chase us as fast as we can run. Let's book it. We can't, we don't have the firepower enough to chase them. Okay, you men form square. Act as a roadblock. There we go, we broke them. But we must take the smart decision. Withdraw. With no cavalry, they can't destroy us. We will do what needs to be done. Valiant defeat. Well, at least they said valiant. That's something. Yeah, it's a lot of... Whoa, this army needs rebuilding. You may consider this a victory, France, but it is a tenuous victory at that, 
we will be back. We will be back with instru with more numbers of troops, and we will annihilate your pitiful little band. Uh, no. Everyone wants Trinidad. I need to build a garrison there. Everyone wants it. Someone is going to invade it. That's just what's going to happen. I need a port and I need a garrison. <laughs> I just do. If I if people can't tempt me to give it away, they will invade it. So I cannot really afford to uh, let them take it cheaply, especially when I could have got so much for it. Forty-three thousand. Ooh, this is handy. It's your hundred. You are hundred percent Catholic. We don't really need a church building here. You're hundred percent Catholic. I think it's going to be these we need to convert. Oh no. Yeah, it's going to be the Protestant North. Get up to Niagara. You men chase and destroy these chaps. You men need to fall back more to here. You can leave Upper Louisiana and head towards the enemy center. You will pre-recruit additional assets. Six units is enough, but I'm probably going to combine a couple of my militia units together, disband the weakest, and then seek some more infantry. This raider, anti-raiding force can deal with this raider here. Chomp. But then you're going to do the same thing and say, right, I want artillery, I want reinforcements. There we go, and then your key already. New port emerges in the Carolinas. Upgrade you. Let's get a sloop to occupy that. Lots of good upgrades here. Let's upgrade commercial basin. Let's fortify Trinidad. Let's re reinforce this army before we push south to destroy these fellows. So you've got naval architecture advances. We've got a rake in Upper Louisiana. Could upgrade this. Well, I mean, we're not going to be. We could. No, you're not a. You're not appropriate reinforcements for that kind of army. I bring a native auxiliary unit down to you. We can't really do much until we get into a better position to squeeze France. Who? Is there any free slots? There is one. Could try and take more than one, but let's not be greedy. 46,000 is plenty of trade income. Well, plenty of income in general, not just trade income. Uh, nope. So, let's see... I mean, I'd really like it if Austria or the Ottomans or someone who isn't Prussia took over Europe. It was really fun in my Italian campaign that the Dutch were the ones that did it. I mean, yeah, you're definitely not going to fight that. You're running away. Prussia's 
moving. Plenty of troops about. I need to check if I can actually recruit. Is if there's a limit on my recruitment of galleons. If if there isn't, then I may as well make that my sole trade ship. Rather than doing fifth rates and privateers and all that kind of jazz. Redeploying ships to the Med, a bit risky. You don't have any ports. Okay. You see, oh, there you go. See, you're in good condition. Here you go. Here's someone who can fight. Do you want to go after them? You're going to get back to here. Stay where you are for now. Let's upgrade the government building in Maine. Do the same thing in Michigan Territory. Okay, we, we will want to get rid of this because we don't really need a seminary. Upgrade the roads, upgrade the tax base. I mean, we may well see a raiding French army. I mean, you don't need theatre either. Okay, let's make sure we're upgrading all of our roads. Use more trade goods, upgrade the farms, upgrade this, upgrade the government building in Niagara. Now you're going down to you. So I don't think we'd commit more troops to destroying the French on the continent, so you may just sit here keeping an eye on the Iroquois. I may well take one skirmish unit out. I can replace them with a native melee unit. There we go. Then at Trinidad itself. Recruit some militia. Back up at Yorktown. She's got a sloop. Look at Occupy Georgetown. So is there a limit on the galleons I can build? No, there is not. Galliano, his name is. Okay, you men are going to sit here in this cove, bay, and build up a trade fleet. Something like that. You're going to rebuild. And you're probably going to end up taking responsibility for these militia. You men will recover. You will recover and be stronger than before. 4,200 to spend. Don't upgrade you yet. You men push up to Niagara. The conversion of Williamsburg continues, but it's going to take some time. This guy does not like seeking converts in the Americas. So, what are you going to do, France? Another army is advancing on you from the north, and another army is advancing from the south. If we can just take these territories... We can make peace. We don't need to continue fighting. We'll have conquered all the territories you want to conquer from you for now. Uh, 
back off. They really want to go after this weak army. And no, I'm not going to let you. And we're going to keep falling back, but yeah, that's a bit of a red herring, because that's not the army you need to worry about. The army you need to worry about is to your northwest. Nope. <laughs> like, someone's going to go for it. Sooner or later, someone's going to do it. Okay, Savoy. Oh, Sweden. I thought they were going to pick up an army for a minute, but apparently not. Savoy. Very friendly. Ally with Austria and Genoa. Very well. Diplomacy. Minor nations. Savoy. Open trade. Demand Cherokee, Cherokee territory. And I will offer you an entire turn's treasury. Roughly. Ugh. Not happy about that at all. I think we're going to have, well, it's to be this army. Mostly lower grade troops. They're going to sit here in Teleco and watch. Watch to see what happens. Because did they, what did they get for that? I can only imagine they were at war and are now no longer. That's a blot on my empire, that is. Cool, we've got a school in Medellin. Let's get on with... Some of the military stuff, just keep ticking away. Weaver's Cottage. Cold Road. Sugar Warehouse we've got. Fair Exchange, good. But yeah, you are looking for your reinforcements in a different direction now. But we are going to attack the city of, the city of Teleco. We're looking at the timer. We're probably going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time uh, for hopefully the destruction of the French on the continent. Cheers, everyone.